Hi, this is James Van Prague, your spiritual guide and teacher to the school, the James Van Prague School of Mystical Arts, Psychic and Intuitive Development Certification Level 1. I'm sure you recognize me because I've been out there in the world for the past 30 years helping people and guiding people and how they can use their own intuition, empower themselves to hear the spirit world and to realize that you are first and foremost a soul having a human experience. So now it is my chance to take you on this journey of self-exploration. Last time we were together, I shared with you a little bit about my background and my journey of really getting involved in learning who I was and honoring my own spiritual self, my own intuition. And I also shared with you two tips on how you can use your intuition on a daily basis to really begin to understand your own soul's language. Well, today, I want to share with you some of the most important keys on how to read the aura or the auric field. And many of these keys, people have forgotten or not even approached. So this is, from me to you, my gift. Use them wisely, but use them. Tip number one for how to read the aura. Now, when I talk about reading the aura, what I'm saying is reading the auric field, reading the energy field. You can do this with a person, or you can actually do this with a place as well. The first step is this. Number one, I want to establish the center of my being, the sense, of course, the awareness that I am a soul. I am a soul being, and I'm able to see and feel energy. When you look at an object or a person, look around them and see how the energy outline is of that person or that object. Is the outline balanced outline, the top, the middle, and the bottom? Or do you find that the top has way too much energy and there's barely any in the bottom? If you sense that, feel that, see that, this is telling you that that person, that that space is not properly balanced. Because you can sense that in the outline of the auric field. Tip number two, as you're sensing the outline of the auric field and how it feels and you sense it all around, I want you to interpret one step more in that, does one side of the energy field feel stronger than the other? Are there blotches? Do you feel blotches of energy, more density in one side than the other side? When you begin to sense the energy pockets, I call them, the more you open yourself up to the possibility of these energy pockets, which there are, by the way, and you'll be just open to what feels stronger, what feels more, maybe there's a, a, a hotter temperature on one side, cooler temperature on the other side. You'll have to interpret it for yourself. But remember, you have to start feeling the blotches of energy, the densities of energy, or the pockets of energy. That's what I call them. So we've already discussed the outline of the auric field. The second tip, begin to feel the density of the energy pockets in the different parts of the energy field. Tip number three, now that you've established the outline of the auric field, and you've also established where you feel various pockets of energy or densities of energy, I want you to thirdly feel what those pockets of energy feels like. So you can pick up very, very easily, is there a sense of emotional, the pocket is emotional, is it physical, is it mental, is it spiritual? In other words, is someone, if you're getting a pocket of energy right around the heart area, around the shoulder, and you feel that that pocket of energy has to do with an emotional upset. That's what I just want you to start interpreting. Does it feel emotional? Does it feel spiritual in a sense that maybe this person has given up on their sense of their connection with the universe? They've given up. They don't feel like they deserve anything. There could be a sense of spirituality. Or as perhaps you'll meet somebody, when you sense the auric field, you'll see a lot of energy around the top of the head and maybe blotches of brown or dark colors. Maybe they're mentally drained. So that could be a very mentally draining sense of energy. So try to interpret what kind of blotch, what kind of block is in that auric field. Tip number four, I call this the rainbow connection. And how I want you to approach this is the following. As I'm reading that auric field, number one, I want to become aware of the outline. Number two, I want to become aware of any pockets of energy, densities, or really blocks of energy. And the third thing I want to do is try to feel, is it a mental block? Is it an emotional block? Is it a spiritual block? Just try to sense that. The fourth tip I'm going to give you with a rainbow connection. Every single person has colors within them, this band of colors from the rainbow, okay? So it's red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. We have all made up of all these rainbow colors. Try to sense what parts of the body have red, what parts of the body have more orange, Perhaps another part has more yellow, so you might see more yellow around the head area, which means a person is thinking quite a bit. Yellow is a lot of mental energy. Um, green, you might see green or sense green around a particular part of their body. 
For instance, we know that the green is a heart chakra, but you might see green around their foot, around the ankle. And then you'll find out that, that person has an ankle condition, they have a swollen ankle. Um, so work with the rainbow connection of various colors in different parts of the auric field and you begin to see them. Tip number five, you've got to give yourself permission to sense. It's okay to sense. It may not happen right away, but the more you use it, the better you get at it. So be open and set the intent. I'm going to sense the energy. I'm going to sense the color of energy, whatever that value, whatever that energy feels like to you. It may be very, very different to you than to somebody else. You'll feel it, you'll sense it very differently than somebody else. So you cannot compare yourself to somebody else. So you have to be open to, I'm going to sense, I'm going to feel. And then practice, practice, practice. You have to practice the sensing. Remember that when you read the aura, it's like using a different language. You have to learn how to use that language and what's involved in entailing the different parts of aspects of your being from your soul. So just practice and use it. Never give up. So I'd love for you to try each one of these keys of reading the auric field. And I need love and would really want you to share your insights, your experiences in the comments down below because that's how we learn from each other. And if you express yourself in the comments below, we can have an ongoing communication, an ongoing sense of community, which is really what I want to establish. So I'll be checking the community and I'll be checking those comments and I'll be making my own comments because I'm going on this journey with you. I'm not just gonna let you take the journey, I'm guiding you on this journey. So please put your comments below and we'll share and that's how we learn. Thanks for joining me today. In my next video, I'm going to teach you how you can build a successful spiritual business and make it grow, honor it, and really how to live your own soul's true purpose.